So this sequence combines um, shoulder exercises with some back bends. So it's really good if you've spent a lot of time sitting in front of the computer, if you've been sitting sort of curled forward and, and hunched. So let's lie on the front. You make a pillow with the hands, rest the forehead. Let's take three deep breaths into the back of the body. So conscious of the space behind you as you breathe in. You know, softening to the floor as you breathe out. And then let's place the right palm alongside the rib cage. The fingertips are pointing forwards. Palm is flat to the floor. And take slow forward rotations of your right shoulder. Slow, smooth, forward rotations of the shoulder. And then take some slow, smooth, backward rotations of the shoulder. Be still with the shoulder. Tuck the right hand behind the head and then the toes of the left foot under. So pushing the heel of the left foot to the wall behind you. And then untuck the toes. And you're going to raise your head, your chest, your right elbow, and your straight left leg. And then release down. Let's take that again. You're lifting the head, the chest, the right elbow, and the straight left leg. And lower it down. And once more. And then release it. So replace the right hand in front of you as the pillow. And take a breath. You have your left palm alongside the rib cage, fingers pointing forward, so palm flat to the floor. And you're taking slow, smooth, forward rotations of your left shoulder. And then slow, smooth, backward rotations of the shoulder. And be still with the shoulder and place the left hand to the back of the head. Keeping the toes of the right foot under, pushing the heel to the wall behind you. Untucking the toes. And then you're raising your head, your chest, your left elbow and your straight right leg. Left leg can press down, abdominal muscles are on, chin is tucking in and then you release. Well, let's take that again. So you're raising the head, the chest, the left elbow, and the straight right leg. And then you release. And once more, coming up. And then release it. Replace the left hand in front of you as a pillow. And take a breath. Let's bring both palms alongside the rib cage. So shoulders drawing down away from the ears. And then we're taking forward rotations of both shoulders simultaneously. And then backward rotations. And then be still with the shoulders. 
interlock the fingers behind the head, so you've got both hands behind the head. Tuck the toes of both feet under, push the heels to the wall behind, and lift just the elbows. So the forehead's on the floor, the chin's tucking in, pushing out through your heels, you're lifting your elbows up high, you're feeling the abdominal muscles engaging, you're hugging muscles around your ribs. And then you release that. Through your pubic bone, press down towards the floor. Through your stomach muscles, draw towards the spine. You're raising your head, your chest, your elbows. You're keeping your chin tucked in. And if it feels safe, also raise both your legs. And you're extending your legs. You're reaching them to the wall behind you. You're holding here. And then let's release. Replace the hands on the floor in front of you as a pillow. Breathing deeply. Massaging your back muscles with your breath. And then let's bring both hands alongside the rib cage again, this time to lift ourselves up away from the floor. So you want to lift from your low ribs first. So you feel the low ribs lift away from the floor and then you push yourself to upright. Let's come into a curl of the spine. So you're pressing the palms down into the floor. You're tucking your chin, you're rounding your shoulders, you're tucking your tail under. And from here into a child's pose. And from child's pose, let's come to kneeling. <laughs> 